Are you planning to sell products online but are not sure which platform to choose? Are you uncertain about which products you should sell? Are you not sure how to kickstart your business? Fret not, for you are on the right path. Why would I say so? Well, I'm going to use this video to walk you through a better understanding of the online selling platform, Shopify. This amazing service is a platform where you can build your own e-store and start selling. Are you excited about it? Let's get started. First of all, what is Shopify? How much do you know about Shopify? Let me give you a brief explanation of what Shopify is and how it works. Shopify is a Canadian e-commerce company headquartered in Ottawa, Ontario, which develops computer software for online stores and retail point-of-sale systems. It was founded in 2004 and was initially based on earlier software written by its founders for their online snowboard store. Shopify is a web application that allows you to create your online store. It provides you with several templates that can be customized to meet individual users' branding requirements and almost everything you need from end to end regardless of the product or experience of the seller. Furthermore, the system allows both physical and digital goods to be sold. It's similar to hiring a general contractor to build your house compared to being the general contractor and hiring all the subcontractors yourself. You're still in control, but you let the general contractor use their expertise to make the project happen. Shopify is a good idea for you if you want to launch an online shop or if you already have a physical store but want to continue growing your business by selling your products online. It caters to a broad range of industries such as art and photography, clothing and fashion, electronics, food and beverages, and so much more. You can basically choose to sell any sort of gadget or widget or physical product, and Shopify can help make this an easier process for you. As I mentioned earlier, Shopify is a simple shopping cart solution for your e-commerce business. By using it, you won't have to worry about hosting your shopping cart, maintaining servers, or presenting your brand and your inventory to potential customers. In this section, we'll explore why you should choose Shopify as your online business platform. One of the best things about Shopify is that it's really easy to use. It gives you tools to build your online store. For example, it provides tools to insert product images or descriptions, tools to manage your inventory, tools to organize your product into categories, and so on. Not only are the tools provided, Shopify also takes care of the coding and web hosting issues. This means that you do not need technical expertise to launch an online store with Shopify. All you need is inventory. Using Shopify allows entrepreneurs to focus on their business and not on the technical nuts and bolts of websites and shopping cart management. However, even though it's simple to use, it does not mean that Shopify is a bare-boned basic shopping cart. Use the Shopify manual to introduce yourself to the Shopify user interface and to guide you through the process of information capture and database management. In addition, Shopify also hosts a help wiki that is built collaboratively between Shopify developers and users. Next, Shopify is hosted. What do we mean by hosted? It's the same way that you don't need to install software if you use Spotify. Your shopping cart is fully hosted by Shopify. They take care of the usual website logistics issues such as management, payment gateways, and hosting. Shopify's system allows you to organize customer information for marketing purposes and to keep a close eye on your inventory. It's also flexible enough to adapt to just about any kind of inventory you can throw at it, while relieving you from the burden of hours spent coding and fine-tuning the store. In fact, because Shopify is hosted, it frees up your time and money. Sound unbelievable? Let me explain. Shopify will cost you $30 to $180 per month depending on how many products you want to support and which other features you would like to include. If you want to host your own e-commerce store, you can buy or rent a server. However, you will also have to be careful with the hidden costs including uninterrupted power supplies, regular maintenance, and emergency IT costs. Furthermore, you will need to purchase a self-hosted shopping cart software package such as Magento, which will cost you $15,000 per year or more. 
Another option is SunShop, which starts at $20 per month for an introductory license or $500 for a one-time licensing fee for their premium package with an annual renewal at a lower price. So why burden yourself with coding and server management while Shopify can host everything for you at a cheaper price? You might not be convinced quite yet, but let me tell you another major advantage to Shopify, reliability. Every minute your servers are down is a minute that people can't buy your products. Amazon and Google have determined that page load delays of only fractions of a second result in significant loss of revenue. On Amazon, a 100 microsecond delay in load time results in a 1% decrease in sales. As for Google, the difference between a 10-page result, which loads in 0.4 seconds, and a 30-page result, which loads in 0.9 seconds, decreases traffic and ad revenue by 20%. Basically, Shopify is not immune to all issues of lags and downtime, but when Shopify hosts your shopping cart, you don't have to worry about it yourself. This means that Shopify's team of experts will take good care of mundane server maintenance and upgrades in order to keep your shopping cart available and loading quick. If anything goes wrong, they have a team of dedicated professionals to fix the problem. Hence, you're paying for them to take hours of work to deal with this while the frustration is off your shoulders. Shopify has the infrastructure to handle your business reliably and affordably. Like many other successful products in the tech world, Shopify has spawned an entire community of designers and experts who have developed tons of apps that you can use to add to your e-commerce package. Even though Shopify comes with a number of features built in, no platform can possibly accommodate all the features needed by store owners. So Shopify took a page from Facebook, Apple, Android, and started an app store. It would be a really long story to cover the wide array of apps available to amplify Shopify's functionality. So I have narrowed it down to three apps, which currently boast a remarkable 100% approval rating in Shopify's App Store. The first one is Yotpo Social Reviews. It takes advantage of the social media markets to connect your shopping cart to your reviews. It automatically prompts buyers to leave a review and integrates it into your site. Additionally, you can connect positive reviews from any source on the web to Yotpo and consequently to your cart. This generates shopper confidence and qualified traffic to your store. The second one is Product Options, which allows you to customize the Shopify inventory and categories interface so that you can easily and quickly manage how your inventory is displayed. This addresses what limitations exist in the built-in Shopify interface, allowing better customization and product descriptions so your customers can get exactly what they want. Last is SEO Meta Manager, which does exactly what the name implies. It helps you to control how your products are displayed and how it appears in online searches. It also helps to raise your brand visibility, driving page views and revenue. Not all platforms have the scale to pull this off correctly, but Shopify does. They have a business development team that specifically works on developing new apps and bringing in new developers to solve problems. This is the reason why people love it in the first place, and Shopify's philosophy is to make it simple for you to run your business. I understand that your decision is an important one, as you don't want to spend time building a business with one platform and then realize later on that you may have to switch to another e-commerce builder. So to clear up some doubts, I have done some research on platforms and have chosen two platforms which are similar to Shopify. These are BigCommerce and Volusion. Most people are generally very sensitive to pricing. We're all trained to compare down to the penny and clip coupons and save as much as possible. We do that all the time, like it's second nature. However, when we look at picking an e-commerce builder to grow a business, we consciously steer away from making our decision based purely on price per month. Choosing a builder because it's cheaper and saves you a few dollars every month is a very short-term way to think and grow a business. Instead, you should be thinking of value. Even though a plan may have a higher price point, if you're getting tremendous value out of it, it's well worth the money. Shopify's plans start at a monthly price of $9 for a light plan and move up to $29 for basic, $79 for pro, and $179 for unlimited. Note that to build an online store, you will need to sign up for the basic, pro, or unlimited plan. 
the light plan only gives you access to some selling tools, but not the online store builder. As for big commerce, it offers three pricing plans, which are $29.95 per month for standard, $79 per month for plus, and varying depending on store requirements at the enterprise level. With the enterprise plan, a dedicated big commerce team will help you with the setup and data migration where you'll get priority support. Let's be honest here. Design does matter. How many times have you found a website that looked confusing and didn't inspire trust or credibility, thus making you leave the website without giving it a fair chance? Trust me, I do this all the time too. Having a good-looking, professional, and inviting storefront is the first step to welcoming your prospective customers and increasing the chances of making a sale. It doesn't matter if you have the best product in the world. If your store looks mediocre, people won't pay it the attention that it deserves. Shopify's themes are very impressive and updated, and they look professional and inviting. Shopify uses independent professional designers to create those themes to make sure that the designs are always fresh and modern. They can make your store look credible and welcoming. All the free templates from Shopify are responsive. The contrast between Shopify and Big Commerce is kind of obvious. This is because only two out of the 16 free templates in Big Commerce are responsive. Others can be categorized as outdated. Shopify and Big Commerce both allow you to connect an extensive range of payment gateways to your store. The numbers available vary by country, but you will find that both Big Commerce and Shopify support the major ones, such as WorldPay, PayPal, and QuickBooks. Shopify, however, offers more comparatively. Connecting third party payment gateways are normally a tricky process, which sometimes involves a contract or monthly fees. So, users who are not in the mood for that sort of thing might prefer to use one of the out of the box options provided by both Big Commerce and Shopify. In the case of Shopify, this means using either PayPal or its Stripe powered Shopify payment option. With Big Commerce, this means using PayPal, Stripe, or Square. As I mentioned in the previous chapter about the matter of price, Volusion's pricing is similar to Shopify with options ranging from $15 to $135 per month. But Shopify gets the edge mainly because of the fact that Shopify has a more inclusive feature set across respective price points, which includes having unlimited products. The starter price is also slightly lower, and they do not charge bandwidth overage fees. Even though Volusion offers merchants a respectable number of themes to choose from, they're generally a notch below Shopify in terms of front usage, page flow, and overall design. You will find a file editor to access raw code in Volusion and Shopify, but overall Volusion's backend admin is less flexible and intuitive compared to Shopify. Integrating with more than 70 payment gateways, including all the major players, Shopify works with a wide variety of processors. To top things off, their in-house processor, Shopify Payment, was launched in August of 2013. Volusion integrates with several domestic and international gateways, which aren't compatible with quite as many processors as Shopify. Volusion Merchant Service charges 2.15% per transaction and a $3.41 per month PCI compliance fee on top of that. You will also need to purchase your own SSL certificate, which will cost a minimum of $89 per year for Volusion certificate. If you want one from a more established and trusted site, you'll have to pay extra. In this video, I will teach you how to get started with Shopify in just a few simple steps. And also, we'll discuss packages that Shopify offers. It's important to choose the plan that best suits your business. In this video, we'll discuss how to figure that out. After you've set up your Shopify store, you will see that there are a range of plans that you can choose from. And those plans are light for $9 per month, basic for $29 per month, professional for $79 per month, unlimited for $179 per month, and Shopify Plus that begins at $995 per month. If you're uncertain which one is right for your business, I would suggest that you choose the basic plan to start out with. The light plan doesn't include many options at all. 
It only allows you to sell your product through social media pages, which means you won't have your own store on Shopify. Beyond that, as you might guess, the more expensive the plan, the more features that you get. This slide shows the plans that you'll most likely choose from and what features they offer. However, if you really are not certain, feel free to choose the starter plan, which will only cost you $14 per month. It's necessary to create a buy button when building your own Shopify store. In this video, I'm going to lead you through the steps of creating a buy button in Shopify and pasting it to your store. The process is extremely easy. It's just a matter of filling in the correct information in the correct place. So let's begin. First of all, I'd like to tell you that once you create a buy button in Shopify, it enables you to use that buy button on any of your other websites. It isn't limited to only your Shopify platform because it's compatible with WordPress, Squarespace, Tumblr, and many other online stores. The best part is the buy button is connected to the Shopify checkout, so you can keep track of sales from all your platforms on your Shopify dashboard. All you need to do is create the buy button, copy the code, and paste it in any of your websites. Step one is to add a buy button sales channel to your Shopify admin. If you can't find the buy button in the sales channel section of your Shopify admin, you will need to add this before you can create a new buy button or an embedded shopping cart. To add a sales channel to your Shopify admin, navigate to the settings tab and then click on the sales channels. You will be directed to the sales channels page. And when you're on this page, select the buy button within the list of available channels and then click on add channel. This screenshot is what you will see when you are on the sales channels page. Click on the add channel button and proceed to the next step. After you've added the sales channel to your Shopify admin, you can now create the buy button. To do so, first go to your Shopify admin page and open the buy button sales channel. And when you are on the Buy Button Sales Channel page, go to the top right and click on Create a Buy Button. After that, you will be directed to the product page. Select the product that you wish to create the Buy Button for and then move on to the next step. On the Create a Buy Button page, you can actually customize the Buy Button according to your needs. You can edit the button's color, text, and appearance. For instance, if you feel that an orange color buy button would convert better than other colors, you can change it here. Once you're done with editing the buy button and have selected the product, double check the price and design. Then click on the Generate Embed Code button at the bottom of the page. Shopify will then generate a code for you. Sometimes it may take a little bit, so just be patient. After the code is created, the Embed Code box will then pop up. In the Embed Code dialog, you can copy the Embed Code manually or click on the Copy Embed Code to Clipboard button at the bottom. Next, open the source HTML of the web page where you want to display the Buy button and paste it where you want the button to appear. Then, save your changes and update the page. If you're not the one that handles the design of your web page, you can send the code to your designer to paste it for you. Now, when people click on the Buy button, they will be redirected to the Shopify checkout page to complete their order. When you use the Shopify Buy button, you also get to use the Buy button features as well. Regardless of which platform you're using the Buy button for, you can keep track of all your orders and sales through your Shopify admin. In addition, the Shopify Buy button can match any theme. It's completely customizable, so matching it is no problem at all. And that's all there is to it. For new entrepreneurs, deciding to start an online business may be exciting, but it's also a new terrain that can be intimidating and difficult to navigate. One of the biggest challenges aspiring e-commerce entrepreneurs may face is figuring out what to sell online whether to sell a single product or multiple products that occupy a market niche. Coming up with product ideas can be tough, and it often feels like everything that can be sold is already being sold. Not to mention, there is a lot of competition out there. 
but there are still golden opportunities to take advantage of, and new, successful products are being launched all the time. So, how can you get in on this action? Are there any products which are trending up right now? Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, there are. So let me share more details with you. First of all, you need to know which approach is the best for your business. You don't want to sell your products just by offering the lowest price because others can always undercut you. If you don't really care what you sell, as long as it generates an income, you will still need to do your homework. You must be willing to learn about the products before you can offer them on your store. Don't sell what everyone else is selling. It makes business a lot harder. Products that people are able to pick up at Walmart, such as DVDs, books, well-known clothing brands, will be difficult to sell because buying from you doesn't add any extra value. People are familiar with these products and are happy to pick them up in a department store at a good price, and they don't have to spend time researching online. It's no secret that organic search traffic is a massive marketing channel. This involves strategically looking for a product or niche online based on the search queries called keywords that people are using, and determining volume and competition for those searches. This approach is fairly technical and involves a strong understanding of keyword research as well as SEO. But finding opportunities in keyword searches can be an effective strategy for capturing consistent. Organic traffic from Google. This strategy is particularly useful if you plan to dropship products, as the margin on dropshipped goods is thin, making it difficult to use paid advertising channels effectively. The quickest way to verify trending products to see if they're a good fit is the Google Trends tool. The Google Trends tool will show you the trend of your product ideas based on total search volume beginning in 2004. Not only does it show you the total search volume, but also displays the countries and cities that the topics are most popular in. Besides Google Trends, subscribing to Trend Publication can help you begin to search for trending products to sell online. Unlike the other resources on this list, this may not give you direct and exact product ideas. However, it helps you to start understanding where the direction of consumer buying patterns is headed, which can spark some incredible product ideas. Other product search engines are PSFK, Cool Hunting, The Cool Hunter, Uber Cool, Trend Watching, Trend Hunter, and Springwise. PSFK is a top trending online publication whose goal is to make things better. Cool Hunting is an award-winning publication that uncovers the latest design, technology, style, travel, art, and culture. Cool Hunting's original content helps to inform the creative community of cutting-edge designs. As for the Cool Hunter, it's a natural fit for e-commerce entrepreneurs who want to stay in the know. The Cool Hunter is a leading authority on all things creative and a truly global hub for what's cool, thoughtful, innovative, and original. Uber Cool is run by one man, but there is a lot of product ideas up for grabs. Trend watching, on the other hand, searches the globe for upcoming consumer product trends. It utilizes a team of 30 trend scouts located all over the world, all searching for product trends. Use this as a resource for ideas that you can use. Trend Hunter is one of the largest trend communities with a global network of 137,000 members. It's a great source of ideas and inspiration for entrepreneurs on the hunt. For new product ideas to sell online, and last, you can browse the new business and product ideas published in the last 30 days on Springwise. It also publishes a daily and weekly newsletter, which you can subscribe to for free. Marketplaces are probably the most common source to find trending products because they feature current products selling online. However, because of the sheer size of these marketplaces, it's easy to get overwhelmed and give up unless you know the strategy to finding the best trending online products within these marketplaces. First, business to business or B two B marketplaces are gold because not only are they able to find you great products, but you can also find a supplier at the same time. One of the most popular B two B wholesale product sites is Alibaba. They are the Biggest e-commerce company in the world, even larger than Amazon and eBay combined. 
Alibaba connects consumers all over the world with wholesalers and manufacturers, typically from Asia. With many thousands of products, there isn't much you can't find on Alibaba. You should also spend time exploring some of Alibaba's largest competitors, and these include TradeKey, Global Sources, Made in China, and India Mart. Next, consumer marketplaces sell directly to the end consumer. By strategically searching some of their trending pages, you can get a better sense on consumer trends and products related to them. Some examples would be eBay, Amazon, and Kickstarter eBay is the largest online consumer auction site. You can find some of the most popular product categories on eBay Popular or use eBay Watch Count, which is an online tool that will list the popular items on eBay based on how many people are watching them. As for Amazon, which is the largest internet retailer, you can find the most popular products on Amazon bestsellers, which is updated hourly. Also, you can find Amazon's biggest gainers in sales rank over the past 24 hours on Amazon Movers and Shakers, which is also updated hourly. Kickstarter, on the other hand, is the largest crowdfunding website. You're able to browse all projects by popularity, funding, and staff picks, as well as many other options with Kickstarter Discover. Next, let me start off by saying that these are not suggested products to sell online. These are some interesting ideas that are trending upwards, according to Google Trend. Before selling anything online, you must do your own due diligence to determine market demand and potential. Trending products are good, but if you can make it even better, why not? Putting in your own idea to an existing product to make it better and making it your own piece is not plagiarism, but an innovative product recreation. The nutrition and health industry is always changing, and there are always opportunities for new products to cater to the latest diet. One of the biggest but most interesting trends in the last few years is the paleo diet. If you don't know what a paleo diet is, it's a modern nutritional plan based on the presumed diet of paleolithic humans that lived 15,000 years ago. There is a massive spike in Google Trends beginning at the tail end of 2010. The next trending item is wooden glasses. Who would have thought this? A search for wooden glasses in Alibaba returns over 22,000 products from over 500 suppliers. With all of the supply, there is likely to be a strong demand. By searching wooden sunglasses in Google Trend, it appears that wood frame sunglasses are fairly new products but have seen consistent growth almost every year since inception. Beyond wooden sunglasses, there is also a focus on other wooden accessories. Even though there are plenty of products, wooden watches seem to be an interesting one. Based on Google Trends, it appears that they came into existence at the end of 2004 and have seen a slow but steady climb in interest up to 2012. The last interesting trendy product is matcha powder. What's matcha? Matcha is a finely milled green tea powder originating from Japan, which has become increasingly popular, along with the tea category in general. Supermarket tea sections have exploded from carrying just Red Rose and Tetley to hundreds of brands in recent years. The trend for matcha powder, according to Google Trends, has been increasing every year since 2009 and has just recently seen a massive spike in search interest. Most people start their online business with big commerce, and it is indeed a good place to start with, considering it gives you the option to have unlimited products and bandwidth, and it gives you sleek storefront designs. But your next step towards expanding your online business is migrating your shop to Shopify. Shopify is the new star in e-commerce platforms. Most solid online shops go with Shopify because of the included feature set and built-in scalability. So what are you waiting for? It's time to expand your online business to a better and larger platform. If you are hesitant to migrate your store to Shopify, here are some reasons why you should. First of all, Shopify provides a more stable server. Because of this, you will not have to worry about store downtime. Second, Shopify is extremely simple to use. 
Shopify manages all of the servers, upgrades, and code maintenance issues, so you don't have to worry about those anymore. Moving on, using Shopify enables you to have full control of your online store. It is hosted by Shopify, but extremely customizable. With their impressive template engine and API, you can fully customize the online store platform to your needs. Next, there are extensions or plugins available for Shopify. You are allowed to install any of the plugins and extensions to add additional features to your online store. Adding extensions is incredibly easy. It just takes a few clicks. Last but not least, moving your online store to Shopify is also simple. It should take less than an hour to move all the valuable information from your old store to Shopify. And this includes the product details, orders, images, and so on. The interface of Shopify is much simpler than other platforms. It's tremendously user-friendly. Now I'm going to lead you through the process of migrating your online store to Shopify. It doesn't really matter which platform you're moving your store from, the whole procedure is more or less the same. But in this case, I'm going to use BigCommerce as the example. So let's begin. The first step is you will need to create a Shopify account. Shopify offers a 14-day trial account for new users. You can start a trial account first, hosting your online store as well as testing the platform. And then, after the trial, pick the right Shopify plan for your store. The options are this, the light plan for $9, basic for $29, pro for $79, and unlimited for $179. Step two is to configure your Shopify store. You have two options, an online store and a retail store. You'll need to choose one of them depending on the nature of your business. If you pick the online store option, you will have a fully hosted e-commerce website. On the other hand, if you pick the retail store option, you'll get to sell in person using an iPad or iPhone point of sale system. After that, Fill in your basic information, such as your address, which sets up your tax rates and currency. And then once complete, click on the next button to proceed to the next page, where you will need to specify whether you're already selling or not, and if yes, which platform you use the most, and so on. Follow the steps and then click on the Enter My Store button to complete the step. This step happens only after you've finished up the trial plan. You will need to choose a Shopify plan and link your account to your credit card. As I've mentioned, there are a few plans from $9 up to $179. Pick one of the plans that suits your business and select your payment method. And then click on the Confirm Charges button to complete this step. After you've picked the payment plan, the next step is to choose the theme you'd like to use for your store. It's almost impossible to move the exact design from your big commerce store to Shopify. However, Shopify does offer various themes that you can browse through and customize. If you like your branding, you can choose a theme that is closest to the design from your big commerce store. There are a number of templates available on Shopify. I'm sure you'll find one that works for you. Templates make it easier for you to visualize what your own Shopify store will look like. The previous steps are all about setting up your Shopify account and designing your store. Your store migration hasn't taken place yet. The next step is for you to install the migration app in order to move the information in BigCommerce to your new Shopify store. The app you want to install is called cart to cart which can be found in the Shopify App Store. The app itself is free of charge, but the price for each migration costs $69. But the cost is definitely worth it because the app allows you to transfer your product details and images, the categories in your old store, customer data and shipping information, orders, manufacturers, and product orders. Moving this valuable information from the old store to the new store in Shopify would be painful to do one by one. With this migration app, moving all this information is just one click away. It's extremely easy to use. Click on the new cart to cart user tab and fill in your information. Remember that this is a different account from Shopify, so you're registering under the cart to cart app. And before migrating the information, of course, you will need to configure the source and target carts. There are three option tabs on the left part of the page, which are source cart setup, 
target cart setup, and start migration. In the source cart setup, tell the migration where all your data is coming from. In this case, you will choose BigCommerce as your source, and then add in the URL link to your old store. Moving on to the target cart setup, you will need to fill in here the new platform that you're going to use, which is Shopify in this case. So copy and paste the new URL link to your Shopify store. Follow the next steps and then click on Start Migration. And then you will get to choose the entities that you would like to migrate from the old platform, such as product details, manufacturers, customer information, orders, and so on. Click on the entities you wish to migrate. You can unclick them as well. Then click on Proceed to Next Step to select the currencies for the migration. Pick your currency and click on Proceed to Next Step. Next, you are able to migrate your order statuses from your old store to Shopify. Shopify wants to ensure that the migration happens orderly. Because these status tags have different names, it's best for you to walk through all of the order statuses to make sure the details are correct. And this will let you keep the old order statuses even after you've migrated to your new store. In this next step, you will need to manage the domain name. For this, navigate to the Online Store tab in your Shopify dashboard. Click on the Domains option on the left and click on the Add an Existing Domain button, which is located in the upper right corner. Fill in the URL to your old store and click on the Add Domain button. After you transfer your old store to the Shopify site, the domain name will be different from the old one. You definitely do not want your customers to go to the wrong place with an outdated store. What you can do to solve this problem is by setting up a redirect rule to direct the traffic from your old store to your Shopify store. And how you do this is by installing another app from the Shopify App Store. And this one's called Traffic Control Bulk Redirects. This app costs $39 and it lets you redirect your traffic from the old link to your new link. One thing you need to make sure of is that the links are all set up correctly. And then that's it. Now you're done migrating your store from BigCommerce to Shopify. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Shopify eStore. You'll be directed to this page after you've clicked on the Add Product button. This is also the place where you upload your product images and description. You'll also notice that there are some options for you to choose just below the Add Product button. And this is where you can select your own selling channel. Feel free to determine which channels suit you best. By clicking the Payment button, you will notice that Shopify provides you with two different payment methods, which are Shopify Payment and PayPal. Choose the one that's most convenient for you. As you can see in this slide, the Packages option shows which package size you use when you ship your product, as well as the shipping label. In this section, you will need to enter the title, type, and dimensions. Here, you'll need to choose which tax rates should be included in your product's price. Some friendly advice, it's better to build the tax into the price of your product so that people will not have the I'm paying for the tax feeling. Hello and welcome. Some of you may be wondering, are there other ways to monetize Shopify without having your own store on Shopify? Managing an online store is not an easy task. And besides investing money into the shop, you're also investing your time. Some of you may have a problem investing your time because you already have a day job, so you don't have any extra time to manage the store. Here are some other money-making ideas to use with Shopify without actually starting your own store on Shopify. There are two options to monetize on Shopify without a store. They are the Affiliate Program and the Dropship Seller Program. Both programs are through Shopify, so you don't need to worry about having to approach shop owners one by one. Shopify will take care of the terms and conditions with the shop owners directly. After you've signed up for the programs, what you will need to handle is your subscribers and marketing strategies. I will now show you each of the programs, so let's get started. The concept of the Shopify affiliate program is the same as all other affiliate programs. The only difference is you promote other people's online store 
on a different platform. If you already have a number of subscribers or readers on your blog, you can start promoting other people's stores to your subscribers. However, if you're new to this business, you will need to start building up your own mailing list first. The best part of joining the Shopify affiliate program is you can attract new leads with Shopify's free resources. When you join the program, you'll get their marketing materials, such as banners, templates, and handouts. You can keep track on your sales on the Shopify affiliate dashboard, just like all other affiliate programs. Now, how does earnings work? You probably guessed it works the same as other affiliate programs you will get commission on sales that are the result of promoting their products. The affiliate program is a great way to monetize Shopify, and you don't need to start a new store and build up reputation from scratch if you join the affiliate program. It is good if you have a store and you can promote your own product. However, if you could promote other people's products and earn a commission from the sales from your subscribers, it could be an additional income stream without putting extra effort into creating your own product. Apart from that, for the bloggers and internet marketers that are already in the business, you can easily find products to promote to your own readers or subscribers. This is a wonderful method of creating another stream of income by just sending new offers to the same group of people. After you join the affiliate program, what you need to do is look for some hot seller products on Shopify. If you are new to Shopify, you may be wondering where to look for the hot seller products. So log into your Shopify account, or even if you're on the landing page, look for the Ways to Sell tab on the top menu bar. Hover over the tab and select Online Store from the menu options that show up. Then, you'll see the Examples tab below the menu bar. Click on it, and you'll be directed to the Examples page, which shows the store types on Shopify. Look for the products on the Featured page. These online stores are usually the most popular ones and the best sellers. Skim through and look for stores similar to your niche. For instance, if you're in the niche of selling watches, you'll need to look for something similar. Here's one thing I should remind you of before you begin the affiliate program. Never simply pick one that's not in your niche, even if it's a hot seller. You must understand the nature of your own business. Your subscribers subscribe to you because of their interest. In this case, their interest in watches. If you suddenly start selling clothes to them, they may not take up the offer. Pick something your subscribers are likely to buy. The next program you can sign up for with Shopify is the Dropship Seller Program. This program is more or less the same as the Shopify Affiliate Program. The only difference between the two programs is you'll need to have your own store for this program because you're going to sell someone else's product on your own store site. And the best part is you don't need to ship the product to your customer by yourself. You can have the products shipped directly to your customers through the supplier. The whole dropship procedure is this. Step one, your customer places an order with your shop. Step two, you place an order with a third-party supplier. And then step three, the supplier will ship the order directly to the customer. The final step, you let the customer know that the item's been shipped. And this is basically the whole procedure. You don't need to worry about the terms and conditions either because Shopify already does that for you. Now your next question is, why participate in the dropship program and not the affiliate program? Well, here's why. If you are already a prominent blogger or internet marketer, you can sell products under your own brand. And so that's the right program for you. You don't need to keep on creating your own products anymore. Instead, you're going to get a supplier and sell their products under your store. It's much easier to sell a business built around an independently owned website. The best part is you don't have to worry about the shipping. As mentioned, the supplier will take care of the rest for you. What you will need to do is just place orders as needed to fulfill orders from your customers. And this is how the dropship seller program works. Next, you will need to look for hot seller products to sell in your store. First, look for suppliers online. Please be aware of fake dropshipping wholesalers. Here are some methods to differentiate fake wholesalers from real ones. They charge reoccurring payments, and they sell to the public instead of just selling wholesale. Now that you know how to spot the fake suppliers, you can start looking for real suppliers. 
The first method would be by using Google to search keywords. Wholesalers are usually not very good at marketing and promotion, and they most likely will not show up with the search term wholesale suppliers. You'll need to dig them up through a bit of research. The second method that you can use to search for suppliers is through attending trade shows. This allows you to connect with all the major manufacturers and wholesalers in a particular niche. And this is a great way to make contacts and connections with suppliers all at the same time. Before this module ends, just a small reminder for you. Always look for products under the same niche that you promote. This is an important thing to keep in mind when you're looking for products to promote. I will now teach you how to open an account for your store. Before you set up everything, having your own Shopify account is a must for you to continue. So let's get started. You will see this picture once you click on the Get Started button on the Shopify homepage. Shopify provides a 14-day free trial for you before you start up your business online. Here's a tip. You need to be careful when it comes to choosing your store name because you can't share the same store name with other existing users. So be creative when thinking up a unique and one-of-a-kind store name for your business. This is where you enter some general details to set up your store. Enter the requested information to proceed. Remember to make sure all the details you provide are valid and relevant. There's no point in entering fake details if you want your business to succeed, as it's best to be honest and transparent with your customers. This is the place where Shopify would like to know more about your business level. For each question, you'll need to choose from the options provided, after which click on the Enter My Store button to continue. You will next need to select a plan for your store to start selling.